You look so beautiful today. Or you look so nice as never before. What a normal person would think and would do. Oh, great. That's such a great compliment. Normally, you must say, oh, thank you. Very pleasant to hear. Oh, I was trying my best to please you, blah, blah, blah. But some women can interpret this in absolutely opposite meaning. Ah, today I look the most beautifully, then it means yesterday when you said me compliment, I wasn't so nice. So you lied yesterday to me, or I'm not so beautiful for you for always. So some compliments can be really tricky. We Ukrainian women are absolutely very emotional. For a woman, emotions are more important than for a man, and it's a well-known fact. And this is evident even when communicating via messengers. Remember, we discussed that many times I'm absolutely for texting and messaging with your Ukrainian lady. I don't know how it works with Western girls, probably not, but Ukrainian women always will be for texting and messaging during the day, no matter how much you are busy, no matter what is the time of the day, but still we will be expecting this constant communication we really need. So girls, Ukrainian girls, love punctuation marks and all kinds of emojis, which cannot be said about most representatives of the stronger sex, you men, who actually prefer strict bravery. Often with quality is the reason why a guy falls in love with a girl. But later, emotional behavior, a la to love is to kill, begins to confuse a man. In this case, you should try to distract your loved one or simply not react to another emotional outburst. We like to communicate with friends and you should accept this. You should remember this. We have absolutely different stereotypes and models of communication. I know that Western European American people, uh, it's, it's not like they're not friendly, but you have some distance, some time frames, some restrictions and limitations. So you are all busy all the time. And I know that you don't have too much time to meet your friends, to communicate with them. And not everybody can text you or call you, let's say, after 8 p.m. I know, especially like in Germany, I have this experience. If you want to tell something to the person or ask something after 7 or 8 p.m., probably you never can get an answer. Ukrainian ladies are absolutely different. We constantly, if we are not sleeping, okay, we are ready to text, to send voice messages, to call, to talk while do, doing something, even with a loudspeaker or earphones. So that's very typical for us. And actually, uh, we need these friends and you should accept the circle of people she's communicating this and i will explain you why you guys like to call them unpleasant girls i mean about friends because they actually distract your attention from you personally right sometimes it seems to you that they spend with their friends much more time uh, than with you and sometimes i don't know how it's about you but ukrainian guys very often absolutely jealousy absolutely jealousy about friends because they think they can be spoiled by these friends they can be motivated for our own actions or uh, for some you know things decision for which probably the girl won't be ready to do by herself then she needs kind of prompt us kind of assistance you know but uh, that's very typical uh, for us for ukrainian women girls and you should be ready for this so these unpleasant girls with whom the beloved can spend hours and not even answer calls sometime if you call actually provide a man with a great service in view of what has been said about the emotionality of women it is worth nothing their emotional stability only a woman is able to painlessly accept the entire uh, barrage of negativity or excessive positivity from another woman the man will break under this load that's famous fact in this case girlfriends serve as a kind of lightning rod that preserves the nervous system of both partners and accordingly the relationship so 
the woman can release with friends, even sometimes if she's angry or pissed off at you. If she talk to a proper friend, she can be either relaxed either or maybe even sometimes more aggressive because that depends on how wise is her friends and what kind of advice they're going to give her. If the friend is wise, she can calm her down, explain the situation and maybe even tell that she's not right, she needs to say sorry or she needs to forgive you. That depends. But if her friend doesn't like you, for example, or has wrong mindset, that can be kind of uh, enemy against you. But these saviors should be pampered and nurtured, not chased out of the house. We Ukrainian women want to be sure of your love. A rite and even a ceremony, this is what should be called the daily confirmation of the fact of the presence of love in a couple. For a girl, the cherished three words, I love you, have a sacred meaning at the moment of their first announcement, wedding, etc. You will have to deviate from the laws of strict male logic and say this cherished phrase of your beloved more often. Even if you don't like to tell these words very often, believe we really need that. Accepting compliments. The logic here is practically the same as in the previous case. And from a young age, a woman is instilled with the idea of the importance and even primacy of the external image. Women's self-esteem depends much more on the opinion of others than men's. Often guys don't evaluate their own appearance, you know, critically until they notice the fact of boldness and weight gain. But a woman's self-esteem can change to the opposite, absolutely, even within one day. So compliments should be made both when getting acquainted and even when married. So when the lady is fully yours, totally yours, you're absolutely sure this is your person, don't feel so much confident and don't relax, I mean, in the meaning of developing, keep developing uh, relationship. So she will still need all the time these compliments and words, I love you, as assurance of your real feeling. But you need to be very careful with compliments as well, because one wrong word is enough for a girl to stop talking to a man for a long time. You remember, guys, I gave you even my own example. You look so beautiful today. Or you look so nice as never before. And then what a normal, I wouldn't say woman here, what a normal person would think and would do. Oh, great. That's such a great compliment. Normally, you must say, oh, thank you. Very pleasant to hear. Oh, I was trying my best to please you, blah, blah, blah. But some women can interpret this in absolutely opposite meaning you remember i explained to you about myself ah today i look the most beautifully then it means yesterday when you said me compliment i wasn't so nice so you lied yesterday to me or i am not so beautiful for you for always so some compliments can be really tricky and guys it's a home task for you to to learn this to understand this and actually, you know, to, to use proper compliments, thinking a little bit ahead, like about the compliment I explained you. So be careful with such compliments and with such things, practically innocent phrases, but they can be dramatic, you know, in your relationship. The next point. Sometimes, guys, we don't want Many anecdotes and television jokes here in Ukraine are based on the reluctance of the fair gender to perform marital duty. My head hurts or I have a headache, right? The children are sleeping or I am nervous or I had a stress or whatever. And a thousand and one other female excuses. Men don't understand or don't want to understand such behavior. We all know that. Although they themselves often seen with this. That's true. So you shouldn't be offended at the lady in this case. It is better to think whether she really doesn't want intimacy for objective reasons or she lacks something, perhaps romance. 
so of course if you see your lady five minutes ago was jumping and flying around the house was ready to do something and she was fine and then suddenly she said <coughs> i have a headache then probably yes but you also should analyze the day how the day was was it too busy or she was laying on the sofa watching soap operas for the whole day or she had some meeting with her friends so actually a relaxing day uh you need to calculate to analyze what happened during the day maybe she was busy going shopping doing home tasks with kids cleaning house cooking a lot working in the garden had a really stressful day at the work and she explained you this when she comes back so you need to understand women really need motivation to have sex intimacy it's not working with women like it works with men you guys absolutely different and you mostly live with instincts right and physiology is absolutely different for women we need absolutely different strategy we cannot just want you know like yeah we can at the beginning probably and if you are perfect lover sometimes we can at the beginning of relationship when the passion is you know burning and hot everything around the, the whole atmosphere but of course routine kills this passion and of course if the woman is tired or sick or have some belly pain or headache that absolutely possible we all are people so that's possible so that's why please be patient but you should notice if day by day the situation continuing to be the same today is a headache tomorrow belly pain next day kids sleeping or whatever so then it should be uh suspicious to you and you need to analyze or maybe even talk to your lady why the situation keep repeating what's wrong so it's not always easy of course to understand the girl but if you pay attention to the above mentioned these guys and follow the advice of psychologists you can cope with this task and emotional connection trust is built through emotional connection a woman needs a man who will be there for her when she needs him who is ready to take an interest in her and take care of her women want to be respected listened to heard and connected to give the woman your individual attention specifically to her this means this if she wants to talk to you turn away from the computer game put aside the mobile phone and you know by your uh, by your actions demonstrate how important she is to you and what she tells you try to feel what your partner is feeling whether it's logical or not because you know we women especially ukrainian women in most cases not logical absolutely so your task is understanding and understanding can be achieved by asking questions if your partner complains about your best friend don't offer her a ready-made solution don't joke about it uh, don't show the less significance of these problems don't minimize the problems or importance and don't take the problem for granted ask questions about how she feels and what it all means to her you need to show really genuine interest of course if you are really interested but i believe that if you really love the person everything what concerns her will be interesting for you too and you should actually understand why that's important so men believe that there is no point in discussing negative emotions because it's much better to find a solution to the problem and forget about this right you are fast and pragmatic but for women emotions are an opportunity to establish close contact try to remember this the next time your partner wants to share with you her feelings because if she's discussing that things with you that means that she really suffer or it troubles her it makes her additional stress and at the same time she respect you and she want to hear your opinion or maybe she's waiting for some help that you can advise her something or give her a supportive hand or shoulder you know yeah that's it guys for today probably i talk too much today but the topic i guess um, was quite 
uh, interesting for you because it's really important to understand us Ukrainian women. And I, I thought that this uh, this lesson, once again, this lesson, this knowledge, this experience, and even my own experience will be useful for you.